guys, then that's Machina here. Thanks for hanging out. Today's reaction is the latest creepy pasta from Crypt TV. This is Mordeo Reunion. Now, it is no surprise to me that they decided to release this Mordeo one today. They really wanted to build off on the Bordeo episode that they released on Friday, and with that ending to that episode, can't say I really blame them. Now, as always, please go over and support everybody involved in the making of this, from the person who wrote it and narrated it, to the person who did the artwork and Cryptiva themselves. I'll leave all their links in the description below. But while you're in the mood for supporting, please go over and support my channel. It's very easy. Just go right below this video, click that big red button there, and then hit that notification bell to be notified whenever I put up a new video. Because I put up new videos every single day, and every little bit of support helps. And lastly, we do have a subreddit. It's a nice place for you to request videos for me to react to, different memes and challenges you'd like to see from me, and also a place where I can talk to you guys in between videos and give you little updates there. That link will also be in the description below, so please go over and subscribe now. And without any further ado, let go. Oh, there it, whoa. I haven't seen my friend Zach in a long time. There's a lot going on Back there. Back in high school, we were like brothers, but after graduation, time fed a distance that slowly chipped away at our relationship. Oh, that sucks. Then one day, out of the blue, hey, when that he happens. called me to ask if I would like to go camping. That's really strange. Someone you haven't heard from a while, like, hey, you want to go camping? Yeah, that doesn't sound sketchy at all. Honestly, I was just happy he hadn't forgotten about me. So I said yes. But out there in those woods... I realized just how much someone can change. Zachary! What's going on, old pal? Hey, man. Oh, Zach picked me up in his car, and three to my surprise, he had a passenger with him. Oh. His name was Ryan. What up, Ryan? And I wasn't expecting a third person, but I figured the more the merrier. Yeah, but have on some the way fun. to the forest, things weren't so merry. Oh. I mean... The conversation in the car was casual at best, not exactly the reunion I'd expected. Zack still had his charm, but something was off about him, like something was missing. That's not good. Ryan said very little during the entire car ride over, but the uncomfortable presence of a stranger made it hard for Zack and I to catch up properly. Yeah, someone who suffers from anxiety myself, I could totally relate to that. We had been traveling for hours when I finally spoke up from the back seat. Hey, is it me, or have we been driving forever? Zach, how much further is our campsite? Before Zach could speak, Ryan answered. Be patient, my friend. Zach and I found the perfect place to set up camp. <laughs> Ryan gave... That creepy laughter is not very reassuring. Give me the creeps, but... Pull over, please. I want to go home now. Th okay, thanks. Bye. I didn't say anything else throughout the remainder of the journey. When we finally arrived at our campsite, I realized Ryan was right. It was perfect, with tall trees and a majestic river that led up to the top of a powerful waterfall. The forest seemed empty apart from the wildlife that inhabited it. Where does it and all go wrong, the sound wrong, of the though? wind blowing through the trees. It felt good. It wasn't too hot nor too cold. It was Goldilocks. Just right and no bears. Oh, okay. That reference sounded weird. So, at first, there we were. Once best friends plus a stranger armed to the teeth with tents, poles, bags, and freedom. Trees in the breeze for a full weekend. Ryan went to go for a walk while Zach and I set up camp. Okay. It was the first time Zach and I had been alone together since the trip began. With Ryan gone, it was like a weight had been lifted off of Zach's shoulders, and he was the Zach I knew from back in the day. We even remembered our secret handshake. Aw, It felt sweet. like old times, but something was eating away at me. So I asked, Hey, Zach. Yeah, buddy? How do you and Ryan know each other? Oh, um... Asking that um... question was like flipping a switch. Zach stiffened up, and suddenly the weight was back on his shoulders. Oh, Myself no. and Ryan are part of a group that's dedicated to bringing out our true potentials. Zach said it was like he was reading from a manual. It felt weird. What do you yeah, mean, like some kind of self-help group? I asked, trying to understand what Zach was saying. But Zach wasn't the one who answered. The self-help group's for the weak. 
and we're far from weak. Ryan said sternly, returning from his walk. Okay. He was carrying a large satchel. The tension was back. That's I was not uncomfortable at all weird. with how they were looking at me. I apologized if I had meddled in something private, but they just stood there staring at me with this look in their eyes. It wasn't quite hate, but rather a look that expressed hunger. Oh like no. Wolves staring down their prey. Oh no. The silence was broken when Ryan emptied the satchel he had. In the satchel were two railroad spikes, a butcher's knife, and a rope. Jesus. My heart skipped. This was no longer a camping trip. When I looked back up, Zack threw a chemical soaked rag over my mouth and everything turned black. Oh! Hey, hey, everything okay? I just wanted to say. Yeah? I'm sorry I have to do this to you. What? What are you talking Come about? Come here! What the, <laughs> Zach, what the? What are you? Don't fight it. <laughs> you get him, Zach. Stop! Hey, just go to sleep, old pal. Take your sacrifice. This will all be over soon. <laughs> sacrifice? Oh, no. There was a blur of green and blue, but then everything slowly came into focus. And oh, that's a cool effect. The sky and the I like that. I was on the ground. It was nighttime, and there was a fire. Tied I up tried and gagged. to sit up, but I couldn't. Yep. And as much as I tried to move them, mm. my hands wouldn't budge. Hey, he's finally mm. awake. Mm. Good morning, sleepyhead. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I realized what was happening. My arms had been spread out, and the railroad spikes from Ryan's satchel had been driven clean through my palms and into a wooden Ow! Damn! Below me. Ow! Scream, That's what we I saw at the beginning. Died. Zach and Ryan walked over to me with sinister smiles fixed on their faces as they looked down on me. I, uh, hope you don't mind if our reunion turns into a sacrifice. Zach oh, said as he nodded man, the hell with towards you. a fourth person laying next to me. I'm sorry, pal. But, uh, no Sorry. None of this is personal. The other guy sure it is, and you're like leading him to his death. He had been crucified to wooden beams on the ground, just like me. His muffled screams echoed throughout the woods. Through his smile, Zack said, You see, our group is a family. You tell him, Zack, dedicated to the prophecies of the tome, bringing out our inner monsters. That's right, boy. I, uh, don't suppose either one of you gentlemen have ever fed a Mordeo. <laughs> I had no idea what the hell Zack was talking about, but the pain in my hands was unbearable. Yeah. Ryan finally broke Zack's rambling and pointed to the hiker. You see him right there? Oh, He's no. gonna be our dinner. And once we evolve, you will be our dessert. <laughs> then Ryan walked over to the other wooden cross and slit oh. the hiker's throat. Oh! 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 Oh, the no! The gargling screams trailed off into silence and the sound of dripping blood. Oh. Zack pulled out a rusted butcher's knife and began hacking into the hiker's stomach. Jesus! <laughs> I mean, he's already dead. <laughs> Zack and Ryan pulled at the opening of the hiker's abdomen until an assorted mash of pink flesh and red intestines spilled out. <laughs> Then they both they looked at each other excitedly and started to devour fists full of the hiker's flesh. Zack looked right at me as he tried to chew down a piece of intestine and said, You know, you really are doing us a great service. You can say that again. You're a true friend. <laughs> <laughs> then Zack and Ryan started coughing as if they were choking on the bloody human remains. Yeah, so it's weird because they don't sound like normal Mordale because they don't... Like, boast about it. They'll bring him out, and then they'll feast. They'll, that doesn't sound Suddenly, normal. Suddenly, their coughs turned violent as they killed over onto the ground and started to convulse uncontrollably. Through horrifying screams, Zach now here's and Ryan the both form. clawed at their faces until spiky-boned antlers jutted out of their foreheads. Their jaws elongated right out of their faces until they no longer looked human. Their hands turned blood red as their fingernails transformed into long claws. The Can't imagine that's not painful. Their final form was monstrous. This was the evolving that they were talking about. I knew then that I was looking at a Mordeo. 
two of them. Suddenly, a third Mordeo emerged from the thick trees and uh -oh. roared a primal scream. Uh-oh. You're screwed, sir. Zack and Ryan, or what was left of them, joined in on the howl before turning their attention on me. Oh, it good. was time for their dessert. With my fear-induced strength, I closed my eyes tight and screamed in agony as the bones in my hands broke over the heads of the spikes. Oh, shit! I finally looked down and saw that both of my hands were just hunks of bloody flesh attached to an arm, each with a large hole in the center where the spikes had punctured. But I didn't have time to dwell. The two Mordeos wow. that were once Zack and Ryan were headed right towards me. And they were salivating. I bolted through the woods. I could hear howls and the thud of footsteps as the Mordeos gained on me. Like, that takes a lot of willpower to be able to do that. Because you're just thinking about it. Your hands are just stuck in there like that. And to push even further out, that's got to be excruciatingly painful. Good on this guy for doing it, though. I ran as if there were battery acid pumping through my veins, but it was no use. The Mordeos were just too quick for me. When I had reached the end of the trail, I was standing at the top of the waterfall. Oh. It must have been at least a hundred feet straight down to the jagged, sharp rocks protruding Take that the jump, sir. below. I was stuck. The three Mordeos emerged, just pushing jump. me back to the edge of the cliff. Might as well I jump. I tell which one of the beasts was Zack because he still had on part of his green hoodie. I had to make a decision. Jump. Jump. Or face the evil creatures before me. Jump. Life choices. Jump. Jump. Zack jump. Stepped forward jump. and reached out his hand as if he wanted to do our secret handshake. I thought maybe there was a fraction of humanity nope. left in him, so. Nope. I decided to take a leap of faith and. I extended my arm. Oh no! But I was completely wrong. Of course you were! I grabbed my arm and chewed at my mangled hand. Oh! The other Mordeos moved in to take a bite of me. But as Zack violently chewed at my hand, the skin loosened near my wrist and I was able to break away by severing my arm from my hand. Ugh! Uh, Zack, let me go! You shouldn't have did it! You shouldn't have did it! That was stupid! So dumb! fell down the waterfall. But I didn't die. You did it? All that blood loss? And no death. Really? I drifted for miles hanging on to driftwood. Yeah. I fell in and out of consciousness due to severe blood loss. I don't know how I didn't drown. Eventually, I washed up on the banks of a nearby local canoe rental house. Oh. They took me in and cleaned me up. At first, they thought I must have escaped a bear attack and fallen into the waterfall or something. Whatever helps. But when they saw the injuries to my arms, they knew that it wasn't a bear that had attacked me. They knew the wounds were deliberate. But I knew these wounds were caused by Mordejos. Like, for all intents and purposes, probably should have died because of blood loss. Because, think about how long that he was in that river, how long he was probably floating downstream like that. I'm not sure how he didn't die from that. That is absolutely insane. And this is probably like the first occurrence in live action, creepypasta, or whatever, where the person just actually survived. Now, obviously, with the creepypasta involving Shelly in that crossover with the Morteo, that girl was able to get away safely because of Shelly. This one, entirely on his own, and just, I guess, just by sheer luck, was able to find this waterfall, and he... That's still like the dumbest thing. Like, oh yeah, yeah, you, you, you're you totally fine. Yeah, we're totally cool. Let me just offer out my hand to you. Like, come on, man. All right, well, that will do it for this reaction. Please leave a like if you enjoyed. Comment down below. Let me know what you would have done in his situation. Would you have bailed at any point in time throughout this story? Share this video. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Ring the notification bell because I put up new videos every single day. And I will see you guys next time.